Tower back or San Torres. I'm Kerry and I'm Ashley. And today we're going to do a haul video. It was my birthday yesterday, so I'm doing my birthday gift haul from my boyfriend. I got the Real Techniques brushes for eyes, and I used them yesterday. They're really nice. You get um, a deluxe crease brush, a base shadow brush, an accent brush. A pick or a fine liner brush or maybe it's pixel point but it's not as there's another brush an eyeliner brush that you can buy on its own that's way thinner than that and um, that one's a bit thicker and then you get an angled brush for brows and eyeliner and stuff so overall so far I want to use them once but I really like them and I have the other set of real techniques the face brushes and I just think they're really good and they're in a handy little pouch next things I got was I got this um, necklace that my sister got me and it's got a John William Waterhouse um, painting on it and it's a locket so you can put things inside it and I really 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 like it. A uh, Little Ruby Robin and it came in a lovely little box. Um, little Ruby Robin is on Etsy and she's also on Facebook and she's got really lovely stuff. She's from Cork so they're all made in Ireland. Yeah. Handmade. So if you go to Etsy and you look Ruby Robin Boutique, if you search that you should find her. So that's really good, I love that. And then I got this bracelet which has little um, charms, teapot and little cute things and that's really nice and I like it a lot. And then I got a little compact mirror. i hold that up. It's got Paris on it. <laughs> the closest I've been to Paris <laughs> and it's really good it's got a um, close-up like a magnifying mirror and a regular mirror and then I got these little nail decoration things and they're all really really sparkly uh, like hearts and stars and shapes and lovely colours this box for recipes and um, mommy bought me this and I put the stickers that Ashlyn decorated my presents with on it. And inside that I have another present, which is Halle Berry perfume. And that smells really, really nice. Yeah, it smells lovely. Yeah. And, oh yeah, in the little recipe thing, you've got little tabs where you can put all your different recipes inside. So that's really nice. And that's my last birthday thing, but I got other vouchers and things. But um, they're my gift. Do you want to go to your haul? On to my haul. Um, the first two things are, uh, are makeup and they're both, I have them since Christmas but I'm only getting to use them now. And I said I'd include them in this anyway. And um, the first one is the Revlon Photo Already Airbrush um, Mousse Foundation. It's in Shell and um, I don't think I like it that much. It goes a long way. Uh, if you squirt it out a lot those tend to come out so you can't really just squirt out a little bit the little bit that you yeah. need um, it smells awful when you're applying it yeah <laughs> when you're applying it um, you know it leaves streaks and stuff so you probably would need to use a brush I don't have a good brush at the moment so I have yeah. to use my hands yeah and um, it does kind of set then after a while and look okay but it's very dark. I mean, that says shell and it's so dark on me. Like, it looks fairly orangey. And I can kind of notice it along here and along my forehead and that, you know, you can kind of see it. So I used a powder. I used Revlon Stay Matte, I think it was, um, to go over it. And um, it kind of lightened it slightly, but not enough. And um, it also kind of got rid of the smell a little because the Stay yeah. Matte by Rimmel is a lovely smell. Also, another thing with it is it's a bit shimmery. I oh. I thought it was the rimmel that was shimmery, but it's not, it's that. Ah. So there's little bits of shimmers all in it. And that is pretty nice. There's not like too much yeah. overall. Not very impressed mm -hmm. by that. Um, I was in Boots then, and um, they were having an offer on the collection eyeliners. And um, if you bought two eyeliners, you got this one free. This is the Extreme 24-hour um, felt tip liner, and it's in purple. Nice tip. And it, yeah, it's a really nice tip. I haven't got to use it yet, but it does have good staying power because I had it, I have it here a swatch on it. The top one is it and kind of layered a few times. The one below it is just like one swipe. So it is, 
it is a fairly dark purple but you could get a darker if you build it up mm. and it does stay very good because when I first put it on like it took ages to get it off my hand to get that I had to buy two other ones and this was the first one I saw this is the Glam Crystals Dazzling Gel Liner in La Freak 5 and it's a lovely blue it's absolutely gorgeous mm. I've seen this but I had to, I had to get it yeah. could not get it so it's got this I thought this was going to be really complicated to kind of apply it and stuff but it applies really good um, it's very buildable, like um, if you kind of build it up and it's so shimmery and nice. It's like a teal colour. It is like probably. a teal and then it has... Oh, it's so sparkly. Yeah, it's so sparkly. Probably can't really mm. see it, but I'll take some pictures anyway. And um, it's, oh, I love it. And I've used it. I've used it on, on my eyes, the top of my eyelids and underneath as well. And both brilliant. They take like a minute to dry, obviously. The other one I got was the... What's this one called? Rock Chick number seven. This is a black one. This is, it's not very black, mm. but over black eyeliner it is awesome. Oh. It makes the liner so sparkly, like it is brilliant. Yeah. It's fairly clear and it has like black bits in it and shimmery bits in it, but the on its own. Yeah. It's not so it's not so black. It's good. Use it over liner. Yeah. Oh, it's amazing over liner. Um, on to my last two things. They're both kind of to do with face and body. Um, this is, I bought this one first. This is the one that you had. This oh, is yeah. the, in our last video. Oh. It's the Garnier Mineral Roll-On Deodorant. It's not the actual one I had. No. <laughs> <laughs> and um, it, smells, it smells good. The reason why I wanted it was because I find with my other deodorant, it smells very strong. If I want to wear perfume or anything, I can't because it overpowers yeah. it and it becomes a new smell. So I wanted something to put on that didn't smell very strong and this this is it. it like there's no yeah. smell off of it. No. And but you're still fresh and clean. clean. Yes. Yeah. And I really like that so far. Last thing I have is an eye makeup remover by Simple. Um I haven't really bought much simple stuff because the last time I did I bought their face wipes and they burnt my face several times. Because I tried it like again and again I just thought maybe my face yeah, having a bad, probably day. a bad day or whatever but no it does burn my face I wanted to get a lot of the time I only wear eyeliner and nothing else so all I need really is for something to take off my eyeliner yeah and I thought that using a wipe was a lot of waste because you only have like two little marks on it then yeah. and it is a lot of waste yeah so if I got just the little cotton pads I'm one of these eye makeup removers when I used it first I really liked it it says it removes waterproof mascara as well yeah and um but then i found it's sting in my eyes a little mm. not for very long but it's still uncomfortable yeah it's not great it does remove it pretty good but um you know for something i don't know for a brand that goes around saying it's for sensitive skin experts yeah kind um, to eyes <laughs> really sensitive skin expert yeah <laughs> you're an expert in sensitive skin yeah like you know and they're <laughs> fucking wipes burnt the face of me and now this is sting in my eyes and we're just falling to bit the Nivea eye makeup remover and it's oh so bad it doesn't do anything the like eye wipes or face wipes get more often that does I try to take off the collection 2000 this and um, the glam glitter. crystals and the glitter and a terrible ad you have to get I have to get a wipe in the end and just wipe it off like yeah. it, I'm not too impressed I got this in um, Tesco's it was on sale have it marked here. I got it for five seventy eight, and it was eighteen fifty. So it was really good. It's a lovely jumper. It's a lovely color. It's got I don't know what's like a green, green and through it. Gray. Uh, we had the right we have the right weather at the moment because it's very cold out. So yeah, I have to put something under it. It's kind of a layering kind of type of yeah totally. jumper. Yeah. It is cool. So my last thing is a fragrance direct haul. I hadn't used Fragrance Direct before and I'd read some 50-50 uh, comments about their customer service and online I read some things about packaging being opened and oh. you know so I was a bit concerned but everything I got arrived perfect in the original packaging not opened or anything and Fragrance Direct is like you get like it's way cheaper than the regular off the shelf price. Mm -hmm. So um, the first thing I got was something I wanted to try for a good while mm. because it's recommended by, I don't know if you watch Emily Noel, she's beauty broadcast. 
We'll link her on. We'll link her on. Yeah, I really like her. She's one of my favourite YouTube people. And she uses Revlon Colorstay, the foundation. I decided to go with the colour Fresh Beige because that's the colour Emily Noel uses. And um, I think her skin looks really nice. So it's a little bit dark for me. Mm. Um, I need a lighter shade, but um, thing, oh, the other thing is when you put it on, like sometimes I'd like dot the color around and then blend it in, but it kind of dries quickly or it's, it's, it does blend, but it's kind of hard to blend. Mm. So just do maybe one bit and blend it and then move on to the next um, thing. And the other thing is it comes for oily skin and dry skin. So apparently the, they're really different so if you're more oily don't buy the dry one and if you're more dry don't buy the oily one but overall it's really good and it does stay a long time it's mm -hmm. kind of hard to get off as well so and then the other thing i got was this dainty doll cream blusher and there it is and dainty doll is nicola roberts from girls loud i didn't buy it because i love girls Loud. <laughs> <laughs> i bought it because Apparently it was supposed to retail for something like fifteen pound or fifteen euro, and I got it for one ninety nine. Or I I put the prices up, but it was really way way cheaper. And I I don't have any cream blushers, so oh, try that's what it looks like. It's kind of a bit messy looking because I didn't clean it up, but it's nice. Now the only thing with it is, it doesn't kind of last. I didn't really powder over it. Maybe if you powdered over it, it would last longer. But it didn't last, it kind of wears off or something. Or maybe I touch my face a lot. I don't know. <laughs> but um, the colour is 001. And that's nice and it was really cheap. So I'd recommend buy that. And then I got a lipstick. And this is, God, what names are on it? It's Maybelline Colour Sensational in Raspberry Diamonds 175. It's a really nice rosy colour. That's the first Maybelline lipstick I ever bought. Don't know why. Well, they're dear, like they're not that cheap. Mm. But um, yeah, I like I like that one. So I bought this. Um, it's Oon Natural Beauty Healthy Glow Enhancer, and you're supposed to. I think you're supposed to put it under your makeup, and it makes you more radiant and sparkly and kind of like a primer. Kind of more. I don't really know what it's supposed to do. Highlights and beautifies the complexion. So I thought, like, when you're getting into the nice weather, maybe it'll make you look dewy and fresh looking. And ninety nine percent of the ingredients are from natural, um, are natural, mm. and uh, I don't know if I said it already. I think bourgeois make this. They do. It was a chance to try something I wouldn't normally try at a low price, mm. so that's why I bought it. Yeah. So that's kind of the texture and the color. It looks really orangey. That looks really orange. Yeah. And then when you blend it out, it's kind of like a peach color, oh, yeah. but it's still really strong, which kind of makes me think could you use it as a blusher but then when I because I, I did wear it once and if you just use a tiny bit and really blend it it does come out nice it kind of what I'd say is it makes your skin a warmer so that's the own and I don't know what color it is oh H04 that was the lightest color that fragrance direct fragrance direct had, had it up but the there I think there are lighter ones than that yeah and then, oh, another thing I bought, which wasn't on Fragrance Direct, but I just like it. Um, the Essence, it's called Vintage uh, District. So they had a vintage kind of selection yeah. uh, or collection. And it's called Zero One, it's Popular Art. Uh, it's a blush and it's got Ooh. like a peachy, uh, dark, and then there's this spray over of gold. And it's nice. That's nice it's packaging nice for a blush, and it's really nice packaging. Oh, I just like it. So does it go on good and last well? It's, it la oh yeah, that la they last really. It looks nice. really strong. The color looks really strong. Yeah, but no, I see there. But it's not as it. strong. Like you, it is very buildable. You can hardly kind of see it. Yeah. A bit sparkly. That's everything. Is that all? I think that's everything. Yeah. That's it. That's all my stuff. That's all my stuff. This is our haul video. Yeah. We'll be back again with a uh, spring tag, which you should be up soon. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Um, and see you again. Bye. Bye.